Hey, my name's Levi. I'm a longtime musician and a part-time DIYer, and today I'm building a custom shelf for under my bathroom sink. So this is the space that we are looking at building a shelf, and it's gonna be across the middle here, and then I've gotta account for my plumbing. So what I'll do here is I'll take a measuring tape and a piece of paper, and it pencil, and then we gotta record all the measurements. We wanna get a good idea of the width, and then we wanna get a good idea of the depth. So how far are we gonna be going in there? Now for my depth, I've got about 20 and a half inches uh, in the entire cabinet. So I probably just wanna take a half inch off of that, give myself 20 inches, and then it'll sit in there pretty decently. So this dimension here is 22 and three quarters. However, back further, it's not exactly the same. We've got this surface and this surface. So what I plan to do is to basically put a, a stud here that's the same thickness as this, which will give me a nice flat surface for the shelf to attach to. So once I've got my depth and my width, what I'm gonna also try to determine is what are the dimensions of my obstacles that are in the way. Now, with the height that I'm picking, um, I'm actually gonna have the shelf right under these shot offs. So they'll still be accessible from the top. So I really only need to account for the, the P-trap. So for that, how I went about it was measuring this distance to this distance, uh, 14 and three eighths of an inch from, from here to here. And then I had to measure from here to here about six inches. So this is essentially my plan here. I've got my depth measurement, I've got my width measurement, and I've got my cavity measurement and kind of accounted for here. And I've also got this side piece that I was kind of referring to earlier, which is gonna be about 13 and a quarter inches. I think it's really useful to draw out your plan before you start cutting anything, just so you can get a really good grasp of what this actually looks like. So for materials, I'm gonna be using melamine for this project. Melamine is a manufactured wood product. It's essentially a chipboard type material, but apparently it's stronger. And it's coated on both sides with melamine, which is essentially like a chemical plasticky kind of thing. It's perfect for cabinetry and stuff like this because it looks like that. I don't know, it, it just, it works for this type of project. And I happen to have a bunch left over from when I bought the four by eight sheet of melamine to make some more shelves like this, which you can see uh, in this video up here. These shelves will be supported with these right here. These are five millimeter shelf pins. You can find these at Home Depot. They're really cheap, but essentially you just got a five millimeter hole. You press it in and then the shelf will be supported by four points of contact. The tools that I'm gonna be using for this project are a circular saw, a jigsaw, a handful of clamps, some saw horses, and a long straight edge. I also use a drill to drill the holes for the shelf pins and to drill any holes for the screws. I'll also be applying some primer to seal the edges so they are protected from moisture because this is under the sink moisture area. So I got the saw horses out and I've cleared a little bit of an area that I can do this work today. Okay, so for this first one, I've got a couple more cuts I've got to make. One is gonna go across all the way this way. Another is gonna go across once again, all the way this way. And then I've gotta cut out the room for the pipe under the sink. So I'm gonna go get the saw and let's get this thing cut up. Okay, great. So I got the circular saw out. So after thinking about it for like 30 seconds, I was like, yeah, actually I'm gonna use a straight edge just to help me get as straight as possible when I do this cut. So I've got this big old ruler level and I've clamped it down and I've got it pretty, pretty well set, I think. I'm gonna adjust the blade a little bit, just a little tiny bit on there. Cut looks good, it's pretty much on the line. This thing can go somewhere. I don't wanna get it wet. That's kind of a tricky thing, working in the winter. Gotta give props to the people that actually do work, like construction and stuff in the winter. That's pretty hardcore, I've gotta say. And here goes nothing. These are the best cuts I've ever done. This is awesome. There we go. All right, that was long. That was a lot of recording. And after we're done using a saw, we've got to take a moment of gratitude that we didn't screw anything up. So glad that worked out just fine. All right, and we're back. I have got my uh, brand new jigsaw I bought specifically just for this project and to have one for future projects. So the idea here is that I can use this jigsaw 
to cut out this negative space. Pretty janky. Let's test fit it, see what happens. So the test fit has told me that basically the notch that I've cut in here was not wide enough. So I'm gonna cut some extra width on it. The same thing over here. Cool. Well, let's hope that, that works this time, right? I gotta widen this even more. Let's do another test fit. It fits well, now let's address this side of the cabinet. So when we look over at the right side of the cabinet, we'll see that we don't exactly have a straight, even surface to work off of. So I had to cut a little bit of extra material to essentially provide a stud for the shelf to be supported by. I also measured the height of where I was gonna put the shelf pins and drilled holes for those. And the left side was a breeze, no issues there. Once we got the shelf pins in there, we can actually start fitting the shelf in there. Fits in there quite well, I'm happy with that. Now I just gotta put this edge bending on and then we'll be done. I have to peel this off. Okay, well here it is in its completed form. So I applied that edge banding and I gave it a little bit of sanding and kind of cleaned it up a little bit and I think it looks really nice. Now, I'm not too stoked about the stains that are on the bottom and sides here that I can't get rid of, but at the very least, I think we'll have better utility out of this cabinet uh, for the remaining time that exists in here. I hope to one day get a new vanity, but that's not in the cards at the time. And this is what it looks like when we've got some stuff in it. And I feel like it's a lot more organized now. And yeah, it's probably gonna get a little bit chaotic here and there, but we can categorize our stuff a lot better when we have the two levels. And this bottom level is tall enough to hold cleaning supplies, stuff like that. So I'm stoked on that because we don't have a whole lot of storage space in our house. So we gotta make the most with what we've got. Well, that my friends is all I have for this video. So thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to leave a like, subscribe if you wanna see more of my stuff. And until then, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.